Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this wonderful Monday morning. Um, I know I owed you a video on Friday, but I didn't go to work on Friday. So your video was replaced with sleep. Quite cool, hey? Um, so I'm going to catch up on that video. Following on what we were talking about last week, about issues that develop because we don't consider ourselves to be worth a lot for a lot of reasons. Now, this one's related to kids, like I said, and it goes out to the parents where I need your attention to the fact that you cannot live out your dreams through your kids, right? More often than not, I've seen where parents force their kids to do things. Parents force their kids down a line that they actually wanted to go down, but never went down. And I'm like, how can you expect your kids to do what you didn't do, but then want them to be their own people? Right? I've seen child suicide because kids don't score enough on a test. Some kids just aren't Albert Einstein's. It's as simple as that. Some kids are going to do good at maths, some good at English, some good at art, some good at science, some not so good at anything. You're going to get all of that. Why isn't that okay? Parents need to be more aware of the damage that they cause, forcing their kids to fit a mold that they are not made to fit. I did a video last week of you were not made to fit in, you were made to stand out. The question then becomes, are you allowed to stand out? Or are you forced to fit in? Be aware, parents, because you do more damage to your child, forcing them to be what you want them to be, not to be who they were meant to be. And you need to be honest with yourself. You can try and fluff this whichever way you want to. You know when you are doing something for you, so stop. That's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, if forcing your child to do things costs you your child, is that a cost you're willing to pay?